that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Make sure that if there's a goal in your mind, if there's something you look up to, that thing is set by you, not by somebody else's achievement because Anyways, hope you guys are having a good start to your day. I know this is a little bit different. I'm not having the family breakfast this morning, but today is a short stream, so I said, ah, why not get right into it? Even though I'm still not like play. Oh, ghost, diabetic, what's popping, man? Been a minute, how you doing? I've been gone a while, but miss playing with you. Sorry for the inactivity, but I'm back for a little bit before things get hectic with school or with work. It's And it's all good, man. I know, actually, I think we talked about this and you told me you were like 20 something, so it could be either. But yeah, it's all good, man. For me, what I want is for you guys to be able to have your lives, you know? For me, this is my life. Streaming is my job. You guys come with me to the office every single day. Well, some of you guys do. And if you come with me for a week and you have to go out and do something else, I'm excited because you're also pursuing your dreams. So please, that's great. Now, you saying it's medical problems kind of sucks, but sometimes life happens and hopefully you're feeling better. So you said before it gets hectic again. So I'm guessing it's not all uh, rainbows and sunshine yet. You're the second person in this community who has like some medical problems, man. I hope you guys, you know, I hope you get sorted out for you guys, man. Understanding your limitations. I feel like everybody has this perspective of just, you know, you can do anything that you want to do. You just have to work hard towards it. Sometimes, yo, you're just not that guy. <laughs> you're just not that guy who's going to be able to like, make a hundred youtube videos in a day or a hundred videos in a year maybe you're just not that guy maybe you can only make 25 and you need to check yourself and understand yourself so that you could do that and i think for me instead of trying to force it and saying come on Femi, just do it just do it i needed to take a step back and just be like yo maybe that's just not how you will make your own podcast see if you can try something else that feels more natural because there's nothing worse than starting a trend of stuff on youtube people like it and you can't continue it because you have no passion for it that is trust me <laughs> i've been doing twitch for a while now and i could tell you that if i continued doing certain things because i knew that it was going to be profitable i would have i would have been hurting myself so much so i think that's something everybody needs to learn it's just like it's okay for you to not be the person who can do 30 flawless cards in one day or raid sherper five people at a time or solo flawless every dungeon in the game maybe you could just be you do one sherper a day but make it the experience that nobody else can offer and you know why that's guaranteed it's because nobody else is you nobody else can do any of these things the way you do them so if you just focus on that one maybe you'll end up being a guy who can sure provide but focus on who you know that you are for now and see what the future holds the whole catalyst thing man it's just you know when you're bored sometimes it's nice to remember you still have a catalyst waiting we're having that conversation yesterday about why people play on lfg and stuff like that and man that's part of it man sometimes you just gotta be bored enough a lot of us play destiny as a matter of fact because we are bored enough <laughs> to be able to play destiny like i don't think like that's why i keep you know recently i've been thinking about this right like what is the most appealing part of destiny like why are there still many people playing destiny even though the game to a lot of people is a very subpar game and the answer to me is simple people just sometimes there's a time in your life for most destiny players where you just had nothing better to do that's why destiny was your go-to option 
you just if you had like if there was any if your girlfriend didn't break up with you if you didn't lose your job if you didn't if you got a new job if you you know your mom agreed to pay for you to go to like video editing school or like you know there's a whole number of things that if they happened you would never be playing destiny so like that's an aspect that like a lot of people don't really a lot of people don't talk about that you know they don't talk about like why they're playing destiny i mean a lot of people you can sense it you can sense their pain when you're talking about being on par with someone that's a speed runner you will do that speed run and you're going to be searching for something else because all the things that you want are not set by you they're set by other people that's what i'm trying to tell you guys make sure that if there's a goal in your mind if there's something you look up to that thing is set by you not by somebody else's achievement because that person like I said before, you can go out here and say you want to get Solo Flawless Emblem or you want to get a Day 1 Emblem because you saw somebody else have it. And then you realize, well, you might never realize, but that person could have cheesed and gone under the map. You know how many people killed Atheon from under the map when that raid first came out? They didn't even do the fight. They went under the map and they were shooting at Atheon. You're here. You might be chasing something that is not even worth it. So please set your own expectations by yourself 